Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jess of the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is ten for adult collectors and not children. And welcome to episode 88 of my behind the scenes toy photography video series here on the Cool Fears channel. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Starting off with the brand new Mayfix slash Medicom Stealth Jumper Batman. This guy was a lot of fun to shoot. And he does have some great articulation. However, <sighs> however, his his joints are just really gummy and weak. And well, he couldn't even hold a running pose. So if you notice in the majority of these pictures, his legs are pretty wide apart. And that was really the only way I was able to get him to hold his own weight and stand up. However, despite that, he is still a phenomenal figure. Talking about another figure that just would not stay standing up as you guys can see, we are taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Mega Figure Bane. This guy was a lot of fun to shoot as well. Unfortunately, he does not come with any fisted hands, so I had to get really creative when doing my photography for this guy. So after I did some basic poses, I went ahead and decided to utilize some props like the lamp right here and of course my Mezco Toys bad signal. Unfortunately, you cannot see it uh, in frame right there, but don't worry, in this next image you will see it right here. Uh, yeah, it took some trial and error and uh, having to repose him, but he finally did get to hold that bat signal above his head all on his own. Balanced on his own, no wires, no stands as you saw, just straight balance. And this guy is definitely a hulking piece of plastic, yet it is lacking in some paint details, of course. So moving on to this week's Epic Shots by Cool Figures post and this week is a crossover between the batman and back to the future so do you remember that classic scene where marty first sees the delorean and kind of asks doc what the hell is going on and doc tells him well if you're gonna build a time machine in a car why not build it with some style well that's exactly what doc did in this week's shot however instead of a delorean he used the Batmobile so yes he built a time machine out of a Batmobile and as you can see Marty is shocked now I absolutely love the accessories that came with the brand new NECA 1985 Doc Brown so that's why I went ahead and uh, kind of showed a shot of just the accessories by themselves but now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some 1-6 slash hot toys love right here because we are taking a look at me shooting my review picks of the brand new Nightmare Batman and Black Suit Superman 2 pack. This was a lot of fun to do because this was supposed to be my first Hot Toys uh, purchase, but it was a pre-order up until recent times. So uh, I still went ahead and purchased it. However, it was not my first Hot Toys purchase, as you guys all know. But this was a lot of fun, and I'm super happy to have these guys in my collection. They just look absolutely phenomenal and i had so much fun posing them up in different ways for these review picks and it just gave me a lot of inspiration as well on how to pose them so with that being said guys that wraps up this week's episode if you did enjoy it please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe if you made it this far in the video type down in the comments below behind the scenes that way i know you've made it this far and you're enjoying the content i've been your host just the bat Majoral, aka the buff collector and as always, have a great fucking day.